Today's video is about a car coming back to the channel finally for the third time, fourth time I think now, because it goes away every winter. Today's video is going to be on the Monte Carlo. <laughs> channel and in today's video i can't tell if i have good light or not because of i'm using the gopro this time sorry for not uploading in a decent amount of time here i've been very busy with some stuff but uh for what we're actually doing in today's video today's video is about of car coming back to the channel finally for the third time fourth time i think now because it goes away every winter and that is again i can't does it have good light today's video is going to be on the monte carlo we're going to be doing we're getting it out. It's been out for like probably two weeks at this point. I just haven't got time to film it yet. I know, freaking crazy, right? We're going to be doing some poles, some digs. So we'll give her a cold start. I do have to move the BMW first. I'll be honest, guys. I don't know how much longer I'm going to have this car. I'll be, I'll be dead ass. This is probably going to be the shortest amount of time I've ever owned a car. I just, I don't know. I don't think it's for me. So I wanted to own like a non-American car. And I did. I just don't know if it's really for me. So let's move this out of the way and then get that thing backed out and do some freaking rips with it, shall we? All right, so first things first, we gotta move this thing. I'm gonna try to do it one-handed because uh, I am holding it. Mm -mm, the GoPro on one hand. I don't know, guys. I mean, it's been it's been okay to me. I mean, it does go through it. I think it doesn't uh, consume oil, it leaks it. So, I mean, I'd rather have that than it consume oil. But I mean, at the same point, at the same time, like, I, I, I don't know. German car that is well 20 22 years old and has 142,000 miles on it she ain't doing too shabby of course check engine lights on it there's the old firebird we gotta make some videos over that too Davies here too the, the big old Harley Davidson motorhome I am crooked as hell you still going buddy oh Sometimes the screen dims out. I don't usually see that because I'm usually wearing it on my head with this. This is the strap I use, guys. The only problem is it has like these grips so it doesn't slide around on your head. But <laughs> I get like wavy foreheads after wearing this thing for a little bit, dude. I haven't started it in three days, something like that. See, the main reason why i haven't been able to really upload as much as frequently anymore is just is really just because i have a new job now and i mean i work like i work like every single day so i don't have the time anymore besides weekends to actually film oh shit let's get her going I rotated the tires and technically these are brand new I, I guarantee you these tires since they were on the back they never actually spun I never did burnouts with them or anything I'm gonna keep them that way for a little bit here so I can actually get good traction and see how much uh, more improvement this will actually give me okay yep 
probably not that much, but we'll see. I want to do, see rolls are going to be pretty much the same because with a roll, you, you don't need that much traction, especially for this thing. It's not really making that much power. So you don't need a ton of traction when you're doing a roll. I'd say anywhere from, in this thing at least, front wheel drive, anything 15 and above. Well, let's say 20 and above. But anything down low, yeah, you need good traction. I got a quarter tank of fuel. It is premium, but it's, we're still technically, at least for the fuel, uh, the winter fuel, they put like additives in it to make it, uh, to have it fare better during the winter time. Plus another thing is, a lot of people don't realize this, in the winter time, not a lot of people are driving nice cars, right? They're quick cars, whatever you want to call it, that take premium fuel. They're driving their dailies, their beaters, their trucks, whatever. They usually always put 87 in them, at least around here, 87 is the lowest grade. Um, so the actual premium fuel, it's not really used that much and it sits in there, yeah, they do cycle it, but the fuel itself gets older and they don't have to replenish it since nobody's buying it and then you go and buy it, like around this time, it's been sitting for months and you got not that great of fuel. And if you're running a very high horsepower application and you need precisely this octane, you can do some damage, obviously. People that are doing that, they're not even gonna chance it. They're gonna wait till people with normal, higher performance cars cycle through it. It's not gonna hurt them. Then they go get their fuel. I have not done any pulls yet with these new tires on it, guys. I am, I'm just curious as you guys. I don't know yet. I put these new tires on, I think it was three days ago. Not new tires. I rotated the tires about three days ago. And uh, I don't know, just really curious on how they're gonna fare, honestly. This year, I sincerely, really, really, especially now I have a GoPro, I've been saying this for a few years now, I think about uh, probably like a year and a half, two years, I said once I get a GoPro, I'd wanna bring it to like, uh, we go to Norwalk, Ohio, uh, Summit Drag Strip. Um, I would love to bring this and see how it fare. Now, I know it's nothing crazy, but I think it'd be kind of fun bring you guys along with me with the GoPro and actually see what this thing can make in its form, right? NA has a cam heads, that's about it, and a, and a built trans with a uh, gear reduction. I don't know what it technically would be. Um, but yeah, I'm just really curious, honestly, see what this thing could, see what this thing could run in the quarter mile or 60 foot. 60 foot is probably gonna be garbage. Well, actually, since they, I wonder with prep, I'll probably blow my CV axle, <laughs> probably, but we'll see. We will see. I've wanted to bring this thing for a long time, but the big problem was you have to be 18, might, might be 19 actually, the drag strip to run, at least at that drag strip. And I mean, I'm 20 now. I just turned 20 like three weeks ago, but simple fact is for the longest time, I wasn't even able to do it because I wasn't old enough. It usually spins when you're, I think that was about 20-ish. You, you guys will see, I, I wasn't even paying attention honestly to what it was actually at. All right, let's see how it does, three, two, one. Okay, yep, no, it, 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 just, it just blew them clean off. Yeah, it, it did not, no. Okay, <laughs> it didn't help that much. I don't know what I was expecting. It's a front wheel drive car. Think about it, right? In a front wheel drive car, here's the front of the car. Here's the, here's the rear of the car, right? Since the engine's transversely mounted, the engine torques upwards towards you. So you're already fighting the car wanting to lift off the ground, right? That's bad enough for traction. Then you got the rear, the rear squats down which makes it even harder to actually do that. So you got the front lift and the rear squat and you, I mean, you are fighting yourself immediately with traction issues. It's just, that's why front wheel drive cars are not you know what? good. <clears throat> I think that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Sorry, it was a little bit of a shorter one. Uh, again, sorry that it was not in true 
the Monte Carlo is back fashion where we do like a whole a really cool video of some burnouts and all that stuff uh, I don't have my cameraman with me everything kind of got thrown on its head a little bit but don't worry be looking forward to next video which will be over this car again and more videos coming over the Firebird and the four-wheeler <clears throat> and actually one come out over the motorhome there's an issue with that if you guys want to see it probably not you guys probably don't give a single shit about it but if you do care about it, it is coming. So anyways, let me pick up, let me pop it up. Oh my God, my forehead. Anyway guys, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Sincerely as I drive off the road right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming over the channel. And as always, I'll see